جود مورنينج ميشيغان صباح الخير ميشيغان هنبتدي الحلقه النهارده بفضل شاكر لا يا سامح نحن هنبتدي الحلقه فيروز نبتدي بفضل شاكر لا يا سامح فيروز ما كانت امبارح فيروز سامح التراديشن تبع البرنامج كل يوم ببلش فيروز تراديشن انجليزي انجليزي يا سامح وهو ده اللي عندنا طب بس عندنا حاجه مختلفه النهارده صباح الخير ميشيغان جود مورنينج ميشيغان الاغنيه الخبر التقرير والموضوع وفي كل مجال سيكون دائما لكم الاختيار من الاثنين وحتى يوم الخميس في بث حي ومباشر غدا كل صباح في تمام الساعة الثامنة صباحا وحتى التاسعة صباحا بالتوقيت الشرقي للولايات المتحدة العربية عبر WNZK 690 AM صباح الخير ماشيجن صباح الخير ماشيجن صباح الخير ماشيجن Good morning ماشيجن صباح الخير ماشيجن صباح الخير اعزائي المستمعين هذا هو عاد معزب يحييكم من وراء الميكروفون اليوم وعبر برنامج سكايب عن التباعد الاجتماعي ايضا نمارسه هنا في الراديو انا اليوم اطلع عليكم لنناقش هذا الوباء الذي حل علينا وباء كورونا فيروس والتحدث عليه بالتفصيل سيكون معي النائب في ولايه ميشيغان في المجلس التشريعي للولايه النائب عبد الله حمود لنناقش اخر الاخبار من ناحيه الولايه ومن ايضا الحكومه الفدراليه وما تقدمه من معونات لجميع سكان ولايه ميشيغان واستقبال والاستعداد لهذا المرض الخطير. اعزائي المستمعين كما عودتكم انا عندما احل على هذا البرنامج ان نكون برنامج متنوع برنامج مو ايضا متفاعل فنرحب بارائكم عبر قنواتنا في التواصل الاجتماعي عبر شبكه الفيسبوك facebook.com/usarabradio وايضا نرحب بكم عبر الاتصال بنا عبر الهاتف 31 عفوا 2485573300 الان نذهب معكم مباشره كما عودناكم الى قناه البي بي سي اخر الاخبار نشره الاخبار من بي بي سي وهذه ابرز العناوين العراق يقرر تمديد حظر التجوال المفروض في البلاد حتى التاسع عشر من ابريل نيسان بعد ارتفاع عدد وفيات فيروس كورونا الى خمسين حاله وفيات كورونا في الولايات المتحده تتخطى حاجز الاربعه الاف والرئيس الامريكي يدعو الجميع للاتحاد في مواجهه الازمه هولندا تغلق الفنادق والمتنزهات والشواطئ لمنع انتشار الوباء وهولندا تدعو سته الاف شخص للمشاركه في دراسه استقصائيه حول الحصاره الجماعيه الرئيس البرازيلي يقلل من خطورة وباء كورونا ويقول إن مهمة دعم الاقتصاد وحماية الوظائف تأتي على رأس أولويات الدولة إلى تفاصيل الأنباء من بي بي سي يقرأها عليكم محمد حافظ قرر العراق تمديد حظر التجوال المفروض للحد من انتشار فيروس كورونا في البلاد حتى التاسع عشر من أبريل نيسان الجاري بعد وصول عدد الوفيات إلى خمسين واقتراب عدد المصابين إلى سبعمائة وفي لبنان أعلنت الحكومة عن مساعدة مالية تبلغ 400 ألف ليرة لبنانية للأسر الأكثر فقرا في البلاد وتوزع عن طريق الجيش هذا وارتفعت أعداد الإصابة في الضفة الغربية وقطاع غزة كما وصل عدد الوفيات في إسرائيل إلى 21 حالة تجاوز عدد الوفيات في الولايات المتحدة الأمريكية جراء فيروس كورونا حاجز الأربعة ألف حالة وكان الرئيس الأمريكي دونالد ترامب قد حذر أمس من أن الولايات المتحدة ستمر بأسبوعين مؤلمين للغاية على حد تعبيره داعيا الجميع للاتحاد في مواجهة الوباء. نحن جميعا لدينا القوة أن نحافظ على الأرواح الأمريكية وإسعاف الضعفاء منها. كل مواطن مدعو للتضحية وكل شركة مطلوب منها أن تقوم بواجبها الوطني. هذا وأصبحت الولايات المتحدة الدولة الثالثة على مستوى العالم من حيث عدد الوفيات بسبب فيروس كورونا بعد كل من إيطاليا وإسبانيا قالت وزارة الدفاع الروسية في بيان إن طائرة روسية غادرت العاصمة موسكو إلى الولايات المتحدة لنقل مساعدات طبية للمساعدة في مكافحة الفيروس التاجي يأتي هذا بعدما اتفق زعيم البلدين على سبل التعاون في مواجهة الوباء من جهة أخرى تأكدت إصابة طبيب في مستشفى العزل بموسكو كان قد صافح الرئيس فلاديمير بوتين خلال زيارته مؤخرا وقال متحدث باسم الرئاسة الروسية إن بوتين بخير ويتم فحصه بانتظام استمعونا إلى نشرة الأخبار من بي بي سي 
تبدا اليوم الاجازه الالزاميه التي فرضتها الولايات المتحده على نحو 4000 كوري يعملون لدى القوات الامريكيه المتمركزه في كوريا الجنوبيه ياتي ذلك تنفيذا لتحذير امريكي بفرض الاجازه بعدما فشلت واشنطن وسول في التوصل الى اتفاق بشان تمويل تلك القوات حيث طالبت الولايات المتحده كوريا الجنوبيه بدفع نحو 4 مليارات دولار سنويا ويجري الجانبان مفاوضات منذ ديسمبر كانون الاول بهذا الشان وكانت سول قد اعربت عن الاسف لمضي الولايات المتحده في تطبيق تلك الاجازه حث الرئيس الصيني شي جين بينغ مواطني بلاده على العودة إلى العمل بحذر مع الحفاظ على التباعد الاجتماعي ووجه الرئيس الصيني ناسا إلى مشاهدة الأفلام في المنازل بدلا من الذهاب إلى السينما كما طالب أصحاب المطاعم بتقليل عدد روادهم هذا وسجلت الصين اليوم أكثر من ألف حالة إصابة دون أعراض وهي المرة الأولى التي تنشر فيها الصين مثل هذه البيانات تغلق بولندا بدءا من اليوم الفنادق والمتنزهات والشواطئ والمناطق العامة الأخرى في تطبيق لقيود أكثر صرامة لمنع انتشار وباء كورونا وتلزم سلطات الجميع بمن فيهم أفراد العائلة الواحدة بالمحافظة على مسافة مترين عند الخروج من المنزل وفي هولندا دعت السلطات الصحية 6000 شخص للمشاركة في دراسة استقصائية حول الحصانة الجماعية أو ما يعرف بمناعة القطيع على أمل إلقاء الضوء على قدرة الأشخاص على تطوير أجسام أجسام مضادة للفيروس كانت فرنسا وبريطانيا قد سجلت أمس أسوأ ارتفاع يومي لهما في الوفيات الناجمة عن وباء كورونا أعزائي المستمعين كانت هذه هي نشرة الأخبار من إذاعة بي بي سي نقلناها لكم مباشرة عبر صوت العرب من أمريكا ينضم إلي Joins me right now is uh, Representative Abdullah Hamoud, our representative in the state legislature from Dearborn, and I welcome him dearly. I appreciate his tenacity and his work amid this uh, crazy virus that's spreading uh, through the entire world. So, Representative Hamoud, uh, welcome to the program. Thank you so Thank much. You. Adel. Thank you so much for having me. My pleasure. Thank you for all the work you've been doing. Oh, it's it's our duty, absolutely. So, um, Abdullah, let's begin uh, talking about the state readiness. From your assessment, do you think we were ready as a state and as a country for this uh, pandemic? I think from a from a national level, I think it's very clear that we were not ready, and there were many decisions made uh, previously that led, uh, frankly. Uh, to our inability to to do what we needed to be done to ensure the public health, the public well-being of the entirety of the country. Um, first and foremost, Trump disbanded the pandemic committee that Obama put together um, that would have helped uh, assisted us in this situation. Um, and it's leaving many governors at the state level to really act on their own outside of uh, the assistance of our president. And so I think our governor is doing the best that she can, utilizing all the tools that she has. Um, but we just don't have enough equipment, for example, um, whether it's ventilators, whether it's gloves, masks, gowns. Uh, you see us trying to go out there and donate each and every single day. Um, and that is just not something that a state can do on its own. There's traditionally is national stockpiles, uh, and we were not ready. Um, and from the way I look at it, we had a three-month head start because we saw what was happening in China, and all the research pointed that it wasn't a matter of if, coronavirus would come to America and to Michigan. It was only a matter of one. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, but for a quick translation, uh, Representative Suali can look at مدى استعداد الولايات المتحدة بشكل عام وولاية Michigan بشكل خاص لهذا الوباء. كان جوابك أن nationally أو في الجهة الوطنية للولايات المتحدة لم نكن مستعدين للأسف الشديد الرئيس ترامب آه بادر بعزل ما يسمى لجنة الوباء أو لجنة الأوبئة عندما تو... كان رئيسا وكان لفترة ب... لفترة ما ينكر أن الوباء قد يصل إلى أمريكا ولكن للأسف الشديد وصل تحدث أن الصين ودول أخرى لاقت هذا الوباء وكان لدينا الفرصة أن نكون أكثر استعدادا ولكن حكم حكام الولايات وجدوا انفسهم يصارعون هذا المرض حتى فيق الاداره الامريكيه كما يقال لهذا الوباء الكامل وحاكمه ولايه ميشيغان تقوم بمجهودها 
بقوتها التي لديها لمحاولة المقاومة لهذا الفيروس ومحاولة أيضا حماية الناس ولهذا قامت بالقرارات السريعة كحظر التجول وأيضا إغلاق المدارس. Representative, we're going to take a quick commercial break and when we come back, I want to talk about also the resources right now that are available uh, for uh, unemployed uh, folks who are obviously unemployed due to coronavirus outbreak. We will also talk about the uh, checks that people are expecting in their uh, bank accounts as well as business loans and business relief. So if you would hold on with me, I would really appreciate it. As I'm going to have the commercial one out. When it comes to reproductive medicine, IVF Michigan Fertility Centers are the recognized leaders. With locations in Bloomfield Hills and five other cities in Michigan and Ohio, IVF has experts in all aspects of the field. As a founding member of IVF Michigan Fertility Centers, Dr. Nicholas Shama is one of the leading reproductive endocrinologists in Michigan and Ohio. Dr. Shama has performed over 10 IVF cases and has helped thousands of couples fulfill their dreams of parenthood. American board certified in both obstetrics and gynecology and reproductive endocrinology and infertility, Dr. Nicholas Shama is a very caring, compassionate, expert physician that understands not only the medical but also the emotional toil of infertility on his patients. When it's time, get personalized care from Dr. Nicholas Shama at IVF Michigan Fertility Centers in Michigan and Ohio. Call toll-free 855-952-9600, 855-952-9600. If halal is important to your family, you can trust that Miramar will offer not only the highest quality halal products, but the best tasting and healthiest foods that can be placed on your family table with confidence. Miramar is the first and oldest halal certified food brand in America, serving the Arab and Muslim community and offers a wide range of halal food products. Check out Miramar's halal food selection today by visiting Miramar's exclusive distributor, Ziad Brothers Importing at www.ziad.com. The Rama Relief Foundation provides humanitarian aid in the areas inside of war-torn Syria, as well as aid to the refugees who have fled to the neighboring countries in the Middle East. The foundation offers food baskets, container shipment, mental health, education, soup kitchens, and more. Go to ramarelief.org or call 248-990-4247. Any donation amount made to Rama will go to sustaining many lives. Call now, 248-990-4247. أعزائي المستمعين عودة بكم إلى صوت العرب من أمريكا باستضافتي النائب عبد الله حمود نتحدث اليوم عن استعدادات الولاية وأيضا عن أمور كثيرة بخصوص كوفيد 19 outbreak. Representative حمود before the commercial I was just asking about the resources now that the state offers as well as the um, federal government is offering. So if we can just recap for those who don't know. What are the current resources for individuals and families from the federal government? From the federal government, we start with the state, and then, and then we'll go to the federal government. So first and foremost, uh, the governor expanded the use uh, and who qualifies for unemployment. Um, and so uh, for anybody uh, who has experienced any loss of wages, loss of work, uh, shortening of hours, um, you qualify unemployment for any parent that now has to stay home because your child's school has canceled you qualify for unemployment additionally uh, these have just been expanded um, to self-employed to 1099 independent contractors to gig or temp workers and to a low-wage workers who can no longer work because of the crisis um, all of this uh, all of these individuals uh, qualify for unemployment benefits and these unemployment benefits are up to 39 weeks and you apply through the state level to receive the state portion of the unemployment, as well as the federal $600 per week that they just recently passed of unemployment uh, benefits. Um, so that's the unemployment side. Do you want to translate that first? And sure, sure. The Absolutely. Shukran gazeel. And so, Al-Naib Hamoud yatakallam an al-an tawsi'at ma yusamma al-batala or ma yusamma al-tawakuf an al-amal al-an yumkinika التقدم إذا تم خسارة في عملك أو تم تقليص أيضا الساعات في العمل أو توقفك عن العمل نهائيا خصوصا مثلا الأشخاص الذين اضطروا إلى 
الجلوس في البيت مع أولادهم وعدم الذهاب إلى العمل يمكنهم أن يتقدموا إلى الانفويمنت عبر الولاية عبر الستيت ويقدموا طلبهم يحصلون بعدين عندما يقدمون إذا تم قبولهم على 39 أسبوع من هذه الميزة أيضا يكون هناك 600 دولار أسبوعيا من الحكومة الفيدرالية فوق الذي تحصل عليه من الولاية So representative a lot of people especially right now are asking especially the ones who are working on Uber or Lyft or as you said this gig economy where you before this you were not eligible for unemployment if you stop working but as of right now it's to make it clear you're eligible for this because of the COVID-19 outbreak yes and at this time so if you have Uber or Lyft you yes you would qualify and I think they just put a notice on their website that for self-employed for the gig or for 1099 contractors um, that they're still updating the site so that they'll be able to apply. But if they have already applied, they don't need to apply again. So, for those who are working as a self-employed, as a Uber, as a Lyft, and also as a self-employed, or at the end of the year, you can do what is called 1099 form of tax. You now have the right to do the right للبطالة من الولاية ومن أيضا الحكومة الفيدرالية السيد حمود يتحدث أنه ما زال هناك وقت كثير عشان الولاية تعدل من الطلب أونلاين وتعبئة هذا الطلب على الموقع ما زالوا يغيرون فيه عشان يستيعبون الآن الناس الذين هم في هذه الأعمال الخاصة أو المستقلة. Representative Hamoud, I've I've seen a lot of people who apply, but unfortunately, either the system is crashing, everything is down, um, and obviously, we understand a lot of people are logging in at the same time and trying to make a claim. However, when do you think? Uh, do you have a word of when things will be totally ready for people to to apply uh, when they're self-employed or um, they're only working on, you know, uh, 1099s. Yeah, at this time, I don't have an exact date. Uh, we've been told from the department that we will receive an email letting us know that it's fully functional. As you know, unemployment is skyrocketing. And so the exactly. website, the phone line are overwhelmed. And so um, uh, we're asking people for, for people to be patient. Um, and inshallah, everybody will receive the help they need. And if, if anybody lives in Dearborn, and needs the assistance, they can reach out to my office, and my office can work between them and the department as a liaison to assist them with the application. That's great, uh, Representative Ashkurak. Al Sayyid Hamoud Aidan an Suali an al Mashakil Elati Wazahat Kathir Min al Ladina Yukadimun Hava Talab. Annahum Lil Asaf Shadid al Nabam Laya Mel Ahyanan Wahunaka Kathir Min al Dakat al Nabam al An al تقديم لأن هناك كثير من الناس يقدمون بنفس الوقت ولهذا السيد حمود يقول أنه ينتظر أيضا أبديت أو إيميل من القسم العمل عندما يكون الموقع أيضا جاهز كليا ويطلب منكم أيضا الصبر وأيضا معاودة We'll asking them to also repeat the process of trying to log in and I said that numerous times or odd times, probably early in the morning or late at night um, at around 7 or because the application, I believe it is functional 24-7, it just the so you would have to go at random times usually so you can find the best time to put in all of your information. Correct. Yeah. Representative, uh, we're going to also talk about now the federal or before that, uh, let's stick with the state and talk about health for businesses. A lot of businesses are, are being affected uh, by this COVID-19 outbreak. Uh, some, unfortunately, had to close uh, because of the order and some had to close really because they're pretty much losing because there is no, the, no flow. So what are the resources now available for, for them from, from the state? and if there are any from the federal government. So um, this morning, we just, uh, working with Wayne County, they just announced 
uh, the small business relief grant application. So this will give small businesses up to $10,000 um, for small businesses that need to help cover for payroll, for their rent or mortgage, for utilities. Um, and there's a, there's a series of information needs for how you qualify. But that application is live today. So in addition to grants, we also have small business loans. Um, and you might want to weigh the advantages versus disadvantages of a grant versus a loan. Uh, because for grants, the grants, unfortunately, is also a taxable income. Uh, more on the loan if it's very favorable, low interest um, with a year uh, of forbearance on payments. Um, it can be very beneficial for small businesses. But small business loans are available between fifty to 250000 from the federal government through uh, the SBA and the FEMA small business loans, as well as through the state, which is uh, rolling out as well. Um, so those are the two thing, the two tools that we really have now, grants and small business loans with very low interest. الحكومة في الولاية الآن تقدم للمشاريع الصغيرة أو ما يسمى الشركات الصغيرة small business كان المطاعم وأيضا كالمحلات الصغيرة أيضا المعونة بعشرة ألاف دولار وهي هذه تقدم كمنحة من قبل الولاية أيضا ولكن هذه تسمى ستكون ضريبة للشركة في السنة القادمة أيضا يقدم هناك بعض القروض البنكية التي هي بفائدة صغيرة جدا. And I've heard representative that this interest rate is as low as you know one to two percent. Is that, is that accurate? I believe it will depend on you know your application itself, but yes, it could be extremely low as uh, up to you know one or two percent. At the same time, if you receive the loan today. Your first payment possible, you know, for many of these loans won't be until next year as well. Sure. Um, Representative, we have a call, um, and I believe it is Jerry who always uh, chimes in into our uh, show. So uh, let's take him and take his question, and uh, we'll, we'll come back to the other questions because I, I have a lot of questions for you. And thank you once again thank for you. being on the show today. So, Sabah al Khair, Fadal Ustaz Jerry. Ahlan, Sabah al Noor. والخير والسلامة أستاذ عاد المعذب وشكرا لاستضافتك النائب عبد الله حمود وأنا أشكر البروديوسر الذي يقوم بالنيابة عن مايك شفك ونتمنى لمايك شفك نعم وديلن عربو وبالمناسبة أستاذ عاد المعذب ديلن عرب هذا الشاب هو حفيد الراحل الإعلامي الكبير جورج عرب الذي خدم الجالية بأربعون عهدا وتوفاه الله العام الماضي التحية إلى 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 السيد مخرج ديلن عرب عزيزي أستاذ عاد المعزب نشكرك شكرا. على هذا البرنامج الهام والسيد النائب عبد الله حمود نشكر خدماتك السيد النائب هل أطرح سؤالي باللغة الإنجليزية أم العربية أستاذ عادل؟ أعتقد أن أستاذ عادل يفهم العربية فتفضل أستاذ جيري نعم أستاذ نائب عبد الله حمود سؤالي لك نحن مقبلين على الاستعداد السكاني بالسنسر وهذا العام أيضا هو عام الانتخابات الرئاسية الأمريكية فسؤالي نائب عبد الله حمود كيف يتعامل المواطنون في هذه الأيام العصيبة وهم قابعون في بيوتهم في سجون انفرادية الحقيقة كيف نتعامل مع السلسة التعداد السكاني وكيف نتعامل مع موضوع الانتخابات والتصويت وأرجو الإجابة وشكرا لكم وقادف وشكرا شكرا شكرا لكم استاذ عادل معذر شكرا تحياتي ولليلى الحسيني المشرفه على هذا البرنامج جود مورنينج عرب امريكا شكرا عزيزي تحياتي لكم شكرا جزيلا استاذ جيري ريبريزنتيف حمود ذا كويشن اي بليف يو هيرد ات اباوت ذيس الكشن از ا بيزي يير وي هاف ذا سانسس 2020 ويتش اونلي هابنز افري 10 ييرز We also have a very, very important election in November. So am I this craziness, how well 
or how does the government expect us to take part in both um, major events? So first and foremost, the census we can do while we are at home. Uh, almost every single household will receive the census form to their mailbox. We ask that you fill well, it out. they have received it. I have received mine. Yes. I received mine. I filled it out. It took two two minutes or three minutes. Um, so we can all fill it out while we're at home. Yes. Now, as it pertains to the elections, uh, many local municipalities actually have elections this May. Dearborn does not. But other municipalities do. And so the Secretary of State, Justin Benson, is working with the governor to make sure that every registered voter within a district that has a May election receives an absentee ballot. And so they're trying to see how successful of an election they can have through absentee only um, for the May election in the local municipality. And I think that will be a strong indicator of what elections may, may look like in August and possibly in the fall if we're still fighting the coronavirus. Inshallah, we would not be here. This virus would not sure. by then. <laughs> سؤال الأستاذ جيري حبا كان عن استعداد الولاية للتعداد السكاني وأيضا انتخابات عام 2020 السيد حمود نبه الجميع أن التعداد السكاني يمكنك أن تدخل على الموقع أونلاين وتقوم بتعبئة الطلبة والفورم الذي لا يأخذ منك أكثر من عشر دقائق بالحقيقة ممكن أقل إذا كنت سريعا مع التكنولوجيا أيضا الانتخابات هناك انتخابات في شهر خمسة في بعض المدن في ولاية ميشيغان قد تكون هي هذه الانتخابات شيء يقول لنا كيف ستكون انتخابات أغسطس وكيف ستكون انتخابات نوفمبر السكرتير للولاية سكرتيرة فانسن تحدثت عن أيضا الانتخاب عن بعد من البيت عبر الأبسنتيا الانتخاب الغيابي و it would be it would be really 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 difficult, uh, Representative Hamoud, just to imagine elections just working from home. Um, a lot of people really uh, love to go work uh, to the polls, and, and 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 it's kind of like a holiday for them. But unfortunately, you know, tough measures means certain circumstances or certain measures that we have to take when we have those tough uh, measures. Um, so back to the business loans, and we can spend two more minutes on those. So the government, state government, has this $10 million of funds for small businesses in Michigan. Do you think it's enough representative? Are there more um, help uh, coming along the way? So in total, it's $20 million. It's $10 million for grants and $10 million for small business loans. Right. Um, but, to, but to answer your question, it is not enough. I um, mean, I think the governor knows this, the state knows this, and we're really leaning on the federal resources that are coming down to hopefully expand this. The small business loans through the federal government, um, I believe it's, oh, it's several billion dollars uh, for the, it's, it's country, it's nationwide though. Um, so I think you're going to see more being done uh, on, the, on the state level, uh, I would hope, um, as it pertains to allocating more resources for small businesses. What's extremely important, one thing that we're asking for is a moratorium or a pause of all payments for small businesses as well as individuals. And what do I mean by this? If you're a small business owner, we, we mean that you should not have to pay your mortgage or your lease or your rent. You shouldn't have to pay your utilities, your water, electricity, and heat, um, or your phone and internet bill uh, at this moment. It should simply be paused. Everybody's payment needs to be paused so that these grants, these loans, uh, these checks that are coming in the mail can actually be useful for the individuals to survive this time. Shukran, Naab Hamoud, tahadathna an hal al 20 million al lati tukadimuhu al wulaya kithaya taban ajabta bin nafi anahu mumkin hunak baramj ukra wa aidan hunak baramj fidralia satakun li. الأرباب العمل هنا في ميشيغان وخصوصا الشركات الصغيرة وأيضا تحدثت عن عملك الآن للمحاولة في إيقاف مؤقتا لبعض أو الفواتير لهذه الشركات الصغيرة حتى يتسنى لهم الاستمرار في العمل We will take another commercial break representative and when we come back we, we have very sad news to share for one of your colleagues, 
um, who have who has passed away, unfortunately, uh, this past week in Michigan. And uh, we're going to talk a little bit about schools uh, representative and then um, also ways of, of getting help as well, uh, because you've been outlining those and uh, the usual things that you need to do in order to protect your family from this COVID-19 outbreak. So we will take a commercial break and we will be back with a representative. Thank you for listening. Life is a nonprofit charity that's provided humanitarian aid and development to people and communities for over 25 years, regardless of race, color, religion, or cultural background. When disaster occurs here or around the world, Life for Relief and Development rushes in to provide food, medical aid, and shelter to those in need. Please help improve these efforts. Make your tax-deductible donation to Life now at lifeusa.org or call 248-424-7493. When you're looking for the best in optical care, Dr. Iman Nakash is your doctor to see. With years of experience and thousands of successful procedures performed, you can trust your eyes to Dr. Iman Nakash. See Dr. Iman Nakash and his professional staff for your eye care needs. There's two locations to serve you. In Hazel Park, call 248-336-3937. 248-336-3937. In Rochester Hills, call 248-299-3937. That's 248 248- Two nine nine three nine three seven. Are you going to start a restaurant or a grocery store soon? Do you need floor plans and designs? Call Nachi Abood at 734-744-9796. Do you want to buy kitchen and restaurant equipment at discount prices? Call Nachi Abood now, 734-744-9796. New concept products and design, the trademark of kitchen equipment. 5% discount on all purchases of $75,000 or more. New concept products and design, new location, 31185 Schoolcraft in Livonia. Learn more at www.newconceptproducts.com. Call Naji Abood, 734-744-9796. Kashat's Mediterranean Market and Shish Kebab offers a great array of your favorite Mediterranean meals. Meals range from lamb specialties, shawarma sandwiches, seafood dinners, and they offer special big trays of your favorite food, plus much more. Kashat's Mediterranean Market and Shish Kebab address is 32839 Northwestern Highway in Farmington Hills. Their phone number is 248-538-9552. That number again is 248-538-9552. And the supermarket is open from 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. Kashat's Mediterranean Market and Shish Kebab will definitely leave you satisfied. أعزائي المستمعين عودة بكم في هذا البرنامج الخاص هذا هو عاد المعزب يحييكم نتحدث اليوم كوفيد 19 وكيف تستعد له ولاية ميشيغان وما هي المساعدات وأيضا ال resources المتوفرة لسكان ولاية ميشيغان مع النائب عبد الله حمود معنا ايضا على الخط مره اخرى السيد جيري عنده سؤال اخر تفضل الاستاذ جيري شكرا استاذ عادل المعزب وانا اعتذر عن الازعاج مره ثانيه استاذ عادل عندي سؤالين سريعين لا اريد اخذ الوقت سؤال اول الى الاستاذ عادل المعزب عضو المجلس التعليم التربوي في مدينة إيرغول أستاذ عادل سؤالي لك ثم أنتقل للسؤال الثاني للنائر سؤالي بخصوص المدارس نريد توضيحا منك باعتبارك أحد قادة التعليم في ديربون والولاية كيف يكون حال المدارس وأبناؤنا هل أن الموسم الدراسي سوف يقفل لهذا العام فارجو التوضيح لان حاكمه الولايه مش كريستيان ويتمر قالت انه من المهم والضروري لسلامه ابنائنا ان تغلق المدارس الى نهايه العام الدراسي الحالي هذا سؤال للاستاذ عادل معلم اما ماي سكند كويشن تو مستر ريبريزنتيف عبد الله حمود مستر عبد الله حمود In the last few uh, days since Corona start, we watch there's a lot of American citizens. They are going to the gun shop and purchasing all kinds of firearms. 
this will be a very, very uh, serious problem if some people have weapons, and especially the the Arab American Chaldean community, who all all seventy percent of the businesses in Wayne County and Oakland owned by them. Uh, they own the gas station. They go to the grocery store. How are they going to deal if, uh, God forbid, a violent happen? And if they don't have a weapon to protect themselves, besides that, how are we going to protect our families, our children, our wives at home? So I would appreciate Representative Abdullah Hamoud to tell the community how are we going to deal with this armed weapon that people, they've been purchased lately. Thank you. God bless you. God bless America. I will listen to your answer. I appreciate it. Shukran Gazilan, uh, Jerry, for your question. Um, the one that's directed to me about the schools, you're right. Um, our governor, uh, there are a lot of unconfirmed news, but most likely it's going to happen that Governor Gretchen Whitmer will make another executive order to close the schools until the end of the year. This is not confirmed news. I cannot confirm it myself, uh, but it's most likely to happen. And maybe Abdullah can chime in in this. Um, in uh, the districts, we will have to come up with ways of doing distance learning and uh, completing the semester if this were to happen. We will also have to find out how we're going to do graduation. If there will be graduation, Obviously, the, the students will, will still receive their diplomas. They will count that they finish the year. Um, but a lot of things are still uncertain, and districts are still waiting for the Michigan Department of Education for direction on this front. Because I believe individual districts will have liberty in taking things on their own since this is an organized effort. Um, so that's my answer. Jawabi لإغلاق المدارس الحاكمة في ولاية ميشيغان قد بالفعل سوف تقوم بإغلاق المدارس سوف تقوم بقرار آخر لإغلاق المدارس حتى آخر السنة الكثيرين سيتساءلوا عن مدى هل ستكون هذه القرارات أو كيف سيكون الولد هذا السنة الدراسية ستكون هناك توجيهات من كل المدارس أو المناطق التعليمية عن كيفية تكملة هذا العام الدراسي أيضا ستكون هناك توجيهات من المناطق التعليمية عن التخرج فهذه الأخبار ستسمعونها في الأسبوع القادم إن شاء الله Representative Hamoud, the question obviously if you want to comment on the schools closing but also the other part of the question was about this crazy rapid race for buying firearms. Um, what are ways that the state will do to protect its citizens? And I, I don't understand why people are buying firearms in the middle of a crisis. So it is troubling. Uh, unfortunately, there is a hysteria surrounding the coronavirus pandemic, and it has caused many people um, to purchase firearms, to purchase ammunition, uh, as if the gun was a means of killing the coronavirus. Um, and just a disclaimer, it's not. And for many, they also perceive it as having a sense of security while at home. Um, and, and, and again, for those uh, trying to uh, prevent themselves and their, and their families from getting coronavirus, uh, purchasing a weapon uh, and having it at home does nothing for you on that front. Now, and, and having many conversations with presidents, they say they purchase a weapon because they're uh, terrified of the times and they wonder if looting, um, kind of what you see in a movie, uh, begins to happen when grocery stores run out of goods and stuff on the shelves and people start going into right. homes. Right. Um, and again, it all just feeds into the hysteria uh, and the panic that has been caused in the media by others uh, sending out false messages. Um, and so, if anything, I can just, you know, calm people. Um, speak from a factual standpoint. We all need to play our role on that end about ensuring that, you know, it's not happening. Our grocery stores are well stocked. Um, yes, we have a shortage of personal protection equipment at the hospitals and such. Um, but there's no means, uh, for why you, uh, would feel the need to buy several guns to have at the house for this pandemic. Uh, for those who don't feel safe, we still have our law enforcement, uh, who's still out there on the line, uh, doing their jobs, uh, and trying to manage 
um, uh, all that's happening throughout the pandemic. Uh, so I still encourage uh, communities to have strong relationships with their uh, frontline workers, which include our first responders uh, and our police officers. But unfortunately, we have very lax laws uh, surrounding gun purchase, um, and uh, there's nothing we can really do as it pertains to individuals exercising their uh, their amendment uh, right and going to purchase a firearm. شكرا جزيلا بحمود تحدثت عن هناك كثير من الخوف والذعر للاسف الشديد الان حول هذا الفيروس النائب حمود تحدث عن انه ليس بامكانك قتل الفيروس بمسدس او بعيار الي الناس طبعا يشترون هذه المسدسات لانهم يخشون ان يكون هناك انفلات امني او ان الحكومه لن تكون مسيطره من قبل الشرطة أيضا تكون مسيطرة على الأمور إذا حصل هذا الشيء النائب حمود يطمئن الجميع أن كل شيء ما زال على ما هو الناس فقط للأسف الشديد هم الذين يثيرون هذه الذعر بين أوساطهم ويفتكرون أنه ستكون هناك أو سيكون هناك انفلات أيضا للجميع الحكومة والشرطة ما زالت في كل قوتها يعملون يوميا بدون انقطاع آه نعم هناك انقطاع في بعض المواد الان كالكمامات والقفازات وهذه الاشياء في المستشفى كل المستشفيات ايضا تكون مشغوله ولكن كل شيء ما زال آه على ما يرام من ناحيه الامن في الولايه وفي الولايات المتحده ريبريزنتيف حمود اي لايك تو سند ماي كوندولنسز Um, to you and to the family of Representative Isaac Robinson, um, which was very, very unfortunate um, to hear that he passed away due to the coronavirus infection. Um, can you, if you, in a few minutes, tell us your relationship since um, his district is very close to ours um, with, with Isaac? You know, uh, Isaac was uh, a champion of the people. Uh, he represented Hamtramck uh, and, and parts of Detroit. Um, and for uh, many in the Arab American community and the Muslim American community, uh, we consider the Isaac to be one of us. Um, he's been around for a pretty long time. He was always there to stand with us, to fight with us, uh, to speak out against any injustice. And that's just the type of person that he was. He was on the front line um, with any oppressed or marginalized community. Uh, and that's the type of heart that he had. Um, so we will certainly miss uh, his exuberant personality. For anybody that also knew him, he's very, he was a fiery guy. Um, he always led the chant. Uh, whenever he was on the podium, there was some sort of chant that was coming, asking everybody to jump on in. Um, and if you really knew Isaac, you were just attracted to that personality. Um, and uh, no, undoubtedly, we will miss his presence um, in our communities at a loss. Uh, because we're also losing, uh, we've lost, excuse me, uh, an ally. Absolutely. And uh, we send our condolences to his family and to the cons- his constituents in Hamtramck in Detroit. Um, Gretchen Whitmer, the governor, also has um, paid tribute to uh, Isaac Robinson and to his legacy. Although he was very young, um, He, he, as you said, he was a champion of the people uh, representative. He uh, stood in the face of uh, environmental injustice in Hamtramck and uh, led those protests himself. So uh, to the Robinson family, we are terribly sorry for your loss. We're going to take the one last commercial representative. And then once we come back, we're going to talk about additional help or ways to get help um, as well to, to protect your family. and to uh, protect um, your friends. Um, so uh, please uh, bear with us. One commercial, and we'll be back. مركز طب ريهاب للعلاج الطبيعي بإدارة الدكتور محمد فرح حسين أخصائي العلاج الطبيعي بخبرة أكثر من 13 عاما طب ريهاب يقدم خدمات العلاج الطبيعي وإعادة التأهيل ويضم مجموعة من أفضل أخصائي التشخيص الدقيق للحالات المرضية مع خبرة عالية في التعامل مع الحالات التي تحتاج إلى إعادة تأهيل وعناية خاصة بعد العمليات والكسور طب ريهاب يستقبل كل الحالات المتعلقة بألم الرقبة، الظهر، المفاصل، شلل الوجه، الانزلاق الغضروفي، عرق النساء، 
الحوادث وإصابات العمل خبيرات في المعالجة النسائية لخصوصية تامة للسيدات عندما تبحثون عن رعاية متميزة اقصدوا طاب ريهاب للعلاج الطبيعي الواقع على 15001 ماشيغان افنيو وللمواعيد اتصلوا على 313-846-0555 That's 846-0555 مرحبا سعيد اهلا علا ليش هالمقابله الفاتره هي بيقول المثل لاقيني ولا تغديني يما زعلتي شنو رايك اذا لقيتك وايضا غديتك باحسن مطاعم ميشيغان مطعم عشتا والله فكره افضل الاطباق والمقبلات العربيه والعراقيه واحلى ملقا ولا تنسين اللحوم الطازجه مباشره من ملحمه عشتار لزباين عشتار وملحمه عشتار توفر اختيارات متنوعه من كافه انواع اللحوم وباسعار متميزه وجوده ايضا مميزه مرحمة اشتار تقع على 36865 راين رود في مدينة ستيرلينغ هايت وأكيد أحلى لمة وأطيب لقمة في مطعم عشتار اللي عنوانه 36255 ماير رود في مدينة ستيرلينغ هايت هاتف 5866982585 5866982585 5866982585 يلا علا يلا عشتار للجودة وكرم الضيافة عنوان مطعم عشتار الأكل الشامي الأصيل فقط بدماس كوزين زوروهم على 2884 ورشد لك بفارمينتون هيلز ولطلباتكم اتصلوا على 248-987-4609 That's 248-987-4609 دماس كوزين and catering جبنا لكم الشام لعندكم وعودا بكم اعزائي المستمعين الى برنامج صوت العرب من امريكا هذا هو عادل المعزب يحييكم قبل الاعلان كنا نتحدث عن رحيل ممثل ديترويد وايضا مدينه هامترامك السيد از كرافنسون الذي وافته المنيه يوم الاحد الماضي عن عمر ناهز 44 عاما كان هو الممثل لهذه المدينة الصغيرة في وسط مدينة ديترويد في ولايته الأولى للأسف الشديد فارقنا آيزك الذي كان له حضور كبير في المجتمع العربي الأمريكي والمسلم أيضا كان له شخصية دائما مرحة وشخصية دائما بشوشة جدا ف لعائلته مقدم حر التعازي. Representative Hamoud, uh, ways to get help. If people feel like they or uh, one of their family members has the COVID-19, what are the things that they should do? A lot of people say they either self-isolate or they have to seek medical attention. So um, I know you have provided a lot of ways um, for people to get help. Um, I've seen a flyer of yours, uh, which has a lot of great phone numbers. So what are the things that people can get help with the, to fight this virus? Yeah, so uh, first and foremost, if you think you have suspected coronavirus, it's extremely important that you contact your physician first um, and, ha- and, and speak with them to, to go through what you are feeling uh, to determine if you need to go in and get a test. Unfortunately, because uh, a scarcity of resources, a scarcity uh, of testing kits, um, they're not testing everybody. So it's important to call your physician first uh, before going in. Uh, secondly, if you also have suspected coronavirus, uh, if you just Google Beaumont uh, online corona assessment, um, they actually have an online assessment that you can complete. Uh, that'll help determine if you should also go in uh, to one of the Beaumont drive through testing sites uh, or whatever it may be. Actually, um, that virtual that. assessment was part of my team at Beaumont, so <laughs> really well, proud. Amazing. It's amazing. It's, it's amazing work. Yeah, um, so outside of, outside of those tools, uh, you know, certainly you want to continually practice safe social distancing. Um, you know, a study just came out. 25, they, they, uh, the CDC is assuming that nearly 25% of all coronavirus cases will be 
without symptoms, uh, which is a much scarier percentage than they initially anticipated. Yeah. Uh, meaning you can be spreading the virus and not knowing it. So it's extremely important that we stay home, that we continually wash our hands and avoid touching our faces. Um, and then lastly, there are several hotlines. You can call the county, you can call the state, you can call Beaumont. They each have a hotline. I won't say the numbers now. We'll provide them later. Um, if you'd like online or wherever it might be. Um, but you can call those hotlines if you need any, if you have any questions to ask. And obviously in cases of emergency, please call 911 at all times. You're right. There's also a phone number for 211 representatives. That's for United Way. Can you explain a little Correct. bit what that is in those two minutes? So United Way uh, has always had a 211 hotline um, as it pertains to the uh, COVID-19 uh, pandemic. Uh, United Way, if you call 211, they will guide you to all of the resources that are available in the state. Uh, so they'll point you in the right direction. It's a great just resource assistance hotline. If you're not sure where you should call or where you should go, just dial 211 and they will point you in the direction or connect you uh, with where you uh, need to go next. Sure. Um, and lastly, I, I'd like to also mention a few phone numbers. A representative, لِلَّذِينَ يَرَوْنَ أَيْضًا هُنَاكَ تَلَعَبُ الْأَسْعَارِ أَوْ رَفْعَ الْأَسْعَارِ فِي هَذِهِ الْمِحْنَةِ يُمْكِنُهُمْ أَيْضًا الْإِتْصَالِ بِقِسْمِ الْوَلَايَةِ لِهَذِهِ الْأَمْرِ وَهُوَ eight seven 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 six five eight three eight eight. كل هذه الأرقام سوف تكون موجودة أيضا على US Arab Radio. Um, Facebook page and website um, if you visit arabradio.us uh, Representative Hamoud, shukran uh, jazeelan laka Thank you so much uh, for being thank on the show with me today This podcast, if people have missed it will be available also for people to listen on our on the website um, So and uh, it will be also on SoundCloud if you look up US Arab Radio uh, momentarily later today so for those who missed the show and would like to listen to it again uh, to hear the information that we've talked about and the, and the issues that we've talked about, it's going to be available. So, Representative, thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you so much, Adam. I appreciate you and, and all of the things that you're doing here in Dearborn uh, for your constituents. Um, it is very important. Um, uh, I, I think these kind of um, epidemics do show uh, the real public servants, and you were just one. So thank you once again, Representative. Likewise, thank you for your partnership, Adam. Absolutely. All right, أعزائي المستمعين كان هذا هو برنامجنا للاستماع لهذا البرنامج مرة أخرى سيتمكن لكم الاستماع إليه عبر US Arab Radio. أشكر استماعكم وإصغائكم. وأتمنى أن نلاقى هذا البرنامج استحسانكم لأي أسئلة تواصل معنا عبر الفيسبوك أو عبر الموقع 